My name is Max Cooper and I make music and do a lot of collaborations with visual artists and researchers and a lot of installs and various types of audiovisual projects that cross over into the sciences and arts. Well, today is the first MESH special audio conference. MESH is our, it was a label, it's not really a label anymore. Uh, it started off as a record label, but then I got really interested in the, the sort of intersection of my old work in the sciences and how that could be fused with my music and then um, found other people interested in these same sorts of things and you know this intersection of music, art and science. So MESH was built um, to look into that and doing conferences is a very natural progression from that. Um, so this MESH live event is around spatial audio, another of my long-term interests and collaborative projects with 4D Sound. It's been great being at the conference. Um, I've learned a lot and it's been very inspiring for me as it should be, you know, the MESH live event should be a place for all of us to share ideas and to learn and form new collaborations and um, new community. So that's been really nice to be part of that as a you know, participant as opposed to just being someone who's presenting or, you know, I'm not there, I'm there enjoying and taking it in um, as much as anyone else, which has been great. So the, the ICO system was this first one, which is really interesting. So it was like an, an inverse of the 4D sound system. 4D sound system being these um, non-directional speakers that are all around the space and, the, and then their system being these very directional speakers which are all confined to a point essentially. So it's, a, it's an inverted spatial audio system, um, it, it, which was really interesting to have those two things. And then Gareth um, Plyer did his presentation of his Biome album and, in, and his spatial sound set with that album, which for me was really... Um, you know, even though we released the album and I've spoken to him about it, I didn't know the full, you know, the full details and the full, uh, the depth he went to, to map these natural systems to his music. Um, and the music has always been really appealing and it makes sense now, you know, the, when you can map natural structures into a, a, an artistic system, it, you know, it often comes out with something really beautiful. And that's something I do a lot of work with in the visual realm, usually with a lot of visual artists. But um, that sort of musical approach was really impressive for me to learn some more about. So I think everyone will be here for different reasons, perhaps, and they take out, hopefully they take away what they want. Maybe to learn something new, maybe to make new contacts, maybe to experience a new type of sound system, maybe just to have some sort of, you know, purely visceral, emotional experience. You know, there's a whole realm, you know, realm of different ways you can interact with the, you know, the, these systems. But I think it is important that we're doing both the live events and the conference. I think every time I get to talk about my work, it seems to enrich the, the live experience. Um, and then live experience enriches the talk as well. So I think the two hand in hand make a lot of sense. Um, it's a great format, so I hope we can do some more of them.